For structural isomerism of C5H12 in the last video, sorry, I just cut it off. I wasn't able to reach my 10-minute time. I hope that I can still continue with that, and I hope that um, your momentum in terms of learning about structural isomerism is still there. So for C5H12, let me just summarize what I drew in the previous video about C5H12 structural isomers. So this is the summary of all of these things. We started with a straight chain and we named it pentane. And the second one is when we put one branch to your second carbon. And so we named it 2-methylbutane. And the third one is what if we have 2-methyl in the second carbon and reduce the parent chain into 3. And so we named that 2-2-dimethyl propane. Now, this is the summary of the expanded structural isomers of your C5H12. And this is how the skeletal structure or the line structure of the three isomers look like. You have an option whether to draw it in an, in an expanded, condensed, or in a skeletal structure. So that's how it looks like. I hope you're copying this in your notebook, taking notes of this, and relating that to what you have learned. In this video, we're going to tackle the last example, which is C6H14. This is, an, this is a six-carbon chain, and this is still your alkane because it shares the formula of CnH2n plus 2. So as what I have taught you, when you do this, all you need to do is always start with a straight chain. So when you start with a straight chain, that means you need to have the six side by side together and then supply all your hydrogen. So as you will check whether you have H14. So you start with the tips and the tips will always have H3 for simple alkanes. And of course, the ones at the middle or in between the tip will have H2 to complete the four bonding of carbon. So in this case, you already have C6H14 and we just name it plainly as hexane. Now, the second step for the second isomer is reduce. From 6, you make it 5, and you let one branch out. So that means I'll make it 5. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5. And then where do I branch out? Don't branch out on the first and then the last because it's going to be the same as the first one. Of course, you branch out to the second one in line. So you may choose here or this because these two carbon atoms, because this is 5, the one the second and the fourth are just named the same way. So because our default is usually we start from the left, so I'll put my one branch here, which is the same if I put it here. And so we can now supply the other, the other hydrogens for the tips, which is this, this, and this. And then we put the H2 to those that have two bonds already. And of course, this one will have just an H because it's already, already bonded three times. So that's one isomer. How do we name this? This is your 2-methyl because it's in carbon 2, whether here or here. It's still 2-methyl and it is pentane. The third one will be what if we'll move the branch because this is 5. I can move it here, which is named differently. So I can draw it this way. I can have C, 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 and then C, and then I'll have another C here. That way, I can now put my H's, so that's H3, this is my H2, this is my H, this is my H3, this is my CH2, and this is my CH3. So this is named 3, because it's in carbon 3, 3 methyl, and then pentane. So that's another way. The second, I mean, the fourth isomers that we can have is what if we're going to reduce because um, we don't have any other way if we have pentane. So what if we reduce it to four parent carbon? If we reduce it to four parent carbon, that means I can have one, two, three, four. And I can, I have two branches. The two branches have to be split up, not together because it will just be the same as the previous isomers. So how do I split the two carbon? I can split it this way. I can split them here, that two Cs, or let me just put it on top, one, two, three, four. Then I can split them one here and one there and then put C. So that way, sorry, sorry, that's the same as the previous one. We'll put them together, that C, and then, sorry, and then the other 
C will be in the same carbon. That means you get a dimethyl, but in the same number. So these, these two are different isomers. Let's supply the H to make this clear. This is H3. That's H. Of course, this is your H3. H3. This is your H also. And this is your H3. Correct? And this one is your H3 here on top. H3 for the tips. All H3 here. H3. And then this is H2. So, if you look at these structures, they're all different from one another. And so, if you look at this structure, it's named 2,3-dimethylbutane. But this is 2,2-dimethylbutane. So, 2,3 and 2,2 are completely different. So, they are two different isomers. So, this will summarize all your C6 H14 isomers. So, we're able to figure out that there are only five possible isomers for C6H14. You can't have any more than three as your pairing chain because it's going to be similar to the others. So that's it for C6H14. I hope that you've already, you've already um, learned about this and you've taken notes of these things. So that's it. And I hope that you are learning from this. And so we go to the to the next lesson in the classroom. Please keep on learning, relearning, and, and unlearning. This is Madam Narka saying goodbye to all and God bless you all.